Hello everyone. So here we have a uh, another drone incident. Drones behaving badly. Operators behaving badly. So this is from the mirror, and it is headed family furious after drone hovers above private garden party as naked children play. Horrified revelers complained about a gross invasion of privacy, and police are now trying to track down the flying vehicle's owner. This is by a fellow called Jim Hardy for the Mirror. Charlie Harris, this chap here I believe, said the device was filming partygoers for at least 20 minutes. Hmm, I don't suppose Charlie or any of the other partygoers took a video of this drone flying or photos. Any evidence whatsoever would be nice. Anything. But let's see if anything comes up. A family are furious after a drone hovered above their private party as children played naked. Police are investigating after the device was spotted flying erratically over a private garden pa birthday party at a campsite in Dorset called Breedy Farm. The horrified revellers complained about the invasion of privacy and officers are now trying to track down the vehicle's owner. Okay, Charlie Harris, the farmer, said friends and family were in one of the fields when they noticed a drone filming at low levels and he said it was the second time it it had happened so all right well there's there's something now i don't think this is a picture because it says here the drone generic image pictured was flying erratically above the campsite this was not the drone this says here it's a generic image there were no photos taken of all the people today and the kids i mean i don't know what age these kids were uh that were having a naked party which to be honest with you at this day and age hey just a quick little uh, diversion here when my youngster was young she had a nativity play at school all of us parents went you know this is just after they started building the big high fences to keep the kids in or keep the baddies out i don't know which one but um so and yeah so there was an activity play he wanted to video on the phone and said no you're not allowed to do that because of you know the, the, the bad people the pedos i expect pedophiles might be trying to get imagery of your children so you can't use your phones or anything people but we'll video it and we'll sell you a copy for a fiver remember the pedos <laughs> right let's back to this so, uh, so they got this generic picture up, which is uh, quite horrifying, isn't it? I mean, how, how how long can one of these things fly? Twenty-five minutes at least, he said, flying erratically. So that thing's going to be using some battery, right? We know that. Anyone who builds them, anyone who flies that, knows if you fly erratically, you're going to be <laughs> sucking up that battery. So that's going to be one hell of a battery on there. So a drone was flown over and seemed to be filming our guests including naked and semi-naked children that were staying in the field he said our guests were horrified and also stated that the drone was being flown erratically and could have caused serious injury not one of these people these guests got a single photo or any video evidence that has to be taken into account here they have reported that they were being filmed for at least 25 minutes by the drone. They will be writing a formal and detailed complaint about the incident which will be passed on to the police. We have reported this incident to the police. It is com no. it is completing it is completely illegal to film children without parental permission and this is also a huge invasion of privacy to our guests who were hosting a private birthday party a naked private birthday party oh golly so let's have a look here so this is the um, this is where the brady farm is in 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 dorset now let's just have a little look around here look at all these big high trees seem to be encompassing circling around this particular farm maybe this was the field down here don't know don't know looks like they're growing things in here so they probably wouldn't have a load of uh, naked children having this party in this field but maybe in this field 
But let's just think about this. Where did this drone come from? We're not going to, it's not going to be too many areas this drone could have really come from. Because if it was low level, yeah, and supposedly filming the children, so most of these things don't have zoom, so they have to be pretty low level to film individual people on the ground to get any type of uh, definition, um, then it's going to have to come down low in this tree line which is going to cut out a whole lot of areas to where this this operator could be okay unless he's within the area itself and just so happened to hit on a place uh, where this party was going on there's going to be a whole bunch of questions and that really he said that the same drone was also seen to be flying over the site's orchard a few days before could this be the orchard so again, if it's flying over the orchard, you've either got to have somebody who is you know, a line of sight, line of sight. The operator's got to be able to see what the drone can see, so you can have a VTX line of sight. And you can have a line of sight pretty much for the radio. Okay, so this is going to, um, just looking at this surroundings. And this is the orchard. Hmm, I wonder what's to the left. I wonder if it's all open. You don't know. But anyway, so the police are investigating the incident, but if anyone has any information or would like to come forward to the police with the footage so that it can be disposed of and the situation dealt with appropriately, then we suggest they do this as soon as possible. All right. Della Adley from Bristol said that she thought at first it might have been one of the teenage boys at the party, but was upset to find out it was someone without permission flying the drone. Oh, well, that's a little bit of an insight. One of the teenage boys. This is a teenage party, is it? Naked? Boys? Girls? Families? Farm? <laughs> okay, let's not go down there. She said, at the time I was totally unaware that the drone had a camera on it and did not belong to one of our party. There were plenty of kids with us and I thought it may have been one of the teenage boys. To find out that it did have a camera on it and was being used by no one we knew who did not no one we knew who did not had permission is shocking. So is that English. But never mind. So they could see it had a camera on it. They knew nobody there had this drone with a camera on it, but yet again, no one took a photo, no one got a video of it, they would have all probably had the phones and stuff with them, because most people spend most of their time in social media anyway, or I shouldn't really say it like that, a lot of people do, they think that's, you know, more than everything else. And yet no one got anything like a photo or a video of this drone that they see around. The Dorset Police Spokeswoman said we were called at 3.57 p.m. on Saturday, June 9th, July 9th to reports that a drone had been filming a private party at the address in Shipton Gorge. Inquiries with the local neighbourhood policing team to establish the owner of the drone are ongoing. Ah, uh, the civil of the drone, yeah, must not be filming to 50 metres of people, property, blah, blah. The spokesman added that the filming children would be a matter for the police. Yes, absolutely. I would have thought the... Um, teenage naked party might have been a matter for the police but no apparently not the advice from the information commission is that the users of drones with cameras should operate them in a responsible way to respect the privacy of others operators should let people know that they are being filmed it says okay that's right and i shouldn't dismiss the civil aviation authority so let's put it here. The Civil, uh, Civil Aviation Authority said there are clear rules on flying drones. They must not be flown within 50 meters of people or property and the operator must at all times keep the drone in sight. Absolutely. And especially if you're going to be flying down in an area above here and for some reason you're not hovering above these trees because if you're on the other side of these trees, you're losing your drone. You're not going to be able to see what you're doing, you're not going to be able to control it, and it's all going to go horribly wrong. I've got a funny feeling, I'm going to call BS on this. I'm going to call BS. And I'm going to call, hey, wasn't that a weird party to be having? But I'm not an authority in the law or anything. But I thought that that was just a bit of a weird, weird story. So anyway... 
generic picture. Remember, that was not the drone. They didn't get any pictures of the drone or any video. This is just what is being said by this chap. So let's leave them to their naked parties with teenage boys and possibly girls and you never know what else and um, yeah I will catch you in the next one hey everybody you know stay safe and um, yeah I'll, I'll see you in the next one catch you